Hey, welcome back. Our next replacement is David. David was still a child when God decided to use him as a replacement. David was born in the tribe of Judah, which is the same tribe as Judah as Jesus who was to come, and he was the youngest of eight sons. Between his being anointed to be king, which of course came after God chose him as king, then he was anointed. He then awaited almost 20 years before actually becoming king. Talk about waiting on a promise, right? He slayed Goliath in that time, and thereafter he also became a musician for the king that was already in power, which was King Saul. So let's talk real quick about Goliath. David was just a teenager at the time. While he was there, David heard Goliath, who was shouting daily, and who was really scaring the men of Israel. And this is just notable because David responded in a way that totally exalted God. He's like, who is this? Just out here, you know, speaking against God and his armies. You know, that's why David ended up volunteering to kill Goliath. And it's just, David would eventually become king over these same men who were fearful. You know, Goliath was out, was out there making these men of Israel afraid. And David's like, what is this, you know? And eventually he would become king because that is the heart of a king who is like, you know, will stand before any for the sake of God because we know God is a great God. So just a little tidbit about Goliath and David. David would come to replace King Saul as God allowed Saul into power, but then regretted doing so because Saul used his free will to turn away from God and to do evil as king. God then allowed King Saul to continue to believe he was king, and from a worldly perspective, he was. So King Saul remained. So David was anointed as king as a child, and for the next, again, almost 20 years, somewhere between 15 and 20, it's not exactly known, Probably, I want to say closer to like 17 years, but not for sure. So some for the next almost 20 years, Saul remained king, even though he wasn't anointed as king. The Lord wasn't with him, yet he remained in power. It just goes to show that, you know, God does what he wants behind the scenes. That's why the, the word says, do not envy when you see the wicked prosper, because many may have looked at Saul like, yeah, but he's king, not according to God. So behind the scenes, God's sovereign will was taking place as God had his prophet Samuel anoint David as the future king of Israel. It's also worth noting that Saul was greatly grieved at God's choice to remove Oh, I always do that, excuse me, Prophet Samuel, Prophet Samuel, was greatly grieved at God's choice to remove Saul as king. And to the point where God asked him, how long will you grieve? When are you going to stop grieving? Like, I've already spoken against him. You know, sometimes in our lives, there's a lot to learn here, because sometimes in our lives, the Lord will remove people from our lives that are not following him. The Lord doesn't cause division between believers. Just know that. Whatever you want to do with that, the Lord doesn't cause division between believers. So if the Lord, if you're a believer and the Lord is removing some people from your life and you continue to mourn them, continue to mourn them, the Lord will eventually say, how long will you mourn them? You know, I remove them. Those who love, the word says that those who love this world make enmity with God. They, they make en enemies of themselves with God by using their free will choice. So we cannot make friendship. We cannot long after. We cannot miss those who actively live against God. You know, he's patient with us. It's just unwise to do so. God had no time for wickedness. And again, though, he's patient with our mourning. Never mourn the wicked for too long. Pray for them, but do not create a yoke with them, even in spirit. So in closing, David was already a king in his heart, even as a child. And we saw this evidence as he grew as a teenager, right? And he's hearing this Goliath over there screaming all day about, you know, this and that, all big and tough. And David's like, who is this? Talking about 
<laughs> yeah, I love it. I love David. So at 30 years old, David became king of Judah, and closer to age 40, he became, became king over Israel. And then again, as time goes on, God gives him a promise to build the temple. So just another replacement. David was a replacement for King Saul. Replacements be doing big things because God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called even and especially perhaps only from birth 